The goal of the fire attack crew is to swiftly and effectively find and extinguish the fire. The TI can assist firefighters in achieving this goal when used correctly. To facilitate the use of the TI during fire attack operations, the Go-No-Go decision-making model can be applied. This model provides diagnostic considerations for fire attack to enhance survivability and minimize rapid fire growth. To implement this model effectively, crews must understand that the presence of a model component does not automatically mean firefighters should not go. Instead, if a model component exists, firefighters should address it by applying water, thereby enhancing the survivability for victims and crews and preventing the fire from worsening. The Go-No-Go no -go decision-making model consists of four components. The first component involves utilizing the TI to detect excessive heat that requires cooling. The TI accomplishes this by adjusting sensitivity or displaying various color ranges on the screen. This can be crucial because firefighters may not perceive the heat due to the protective nature of their firefighting gear. However, victims lack this protection, making it essential for firefighters to promptly identify and cool the heat to enhance safety before conditions deteriorate. The second component involves determining whether the neutral plane or thermal layer occupies more than 50% of the space. Keep in mind that the neutral plane can be observed visually while the thermal layer is identified using the TI in limited or zero visibility conditions. If the neutral plane or thermal layer exceeds 50% of the space, it is crucial to take action and apply water to improve the conditions. Failure to address the deteriorating conditions will cause the neutral plane and or thermal layer to descend further as the room temperature rises, adversely affecting both victims and firefighters. The third component involves high velocity smoke or fast moving convection currents. High velocity smoke is observable with the naked eye while the convection currents can be detected using the TI. Both rapid smoke movement and fast moving convection currents indicate escalating fire behavior and should be addressed to improve fire conditions. The fourth and final component of the model depends on the crew's skill in accurately interpreting the diagnostic data provided by the TI and applying it effectively. By properly incorporating the TI, crews can mitigate the progression of fire conditions. Additionally, when used correctly, the TI aids crews in swiftly locating the origin of the fire. Integrating the TI may only take a few seconds, but it can save critical minutes for both victims and firefighters. Remember, this model does not imply never go. Its purpose is to assist firefighters in recognizing unfavorable conditions and determining when it is necessary to address those conditions before proceeding further. During the process of extinguishing the fire and cooling down superheated gases, it is important for crews to use the TI effectively to ensure precise water application. As the gases contract and cool, the thermal layer should ascend, resulting in color palette changes on the TI. If necessary, crews can follow this sequence. First, wipe the lens, then the TI screen, and finally, wipe their masks. In summary, the TI is a valuable tool used in fire attack. It complements the decision-making abilities of crews and enables them to quickly identify worsening fire conditions and low visibility. By utilizing the TI effectively for a few seconds, valuable minutes can be saved for the safety of both crews and victims alike.